Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. What I wanted to talk about and show you, and the question is, do honey bees die when they sting you? Well, here's one right here that just stung me and it's trying to get loose. It's got a barb on a stinger, just in case you don't know about honey bees and how they sting. And the barb in any kind of elastic skin like human skin or animal skin, when they sting, the stinger will stick. Now when they sting other insects, the barb doesn't stick like it does with an elastic skin like with us. I'm not saying it couldn't stick, but most of the time when they sting each other or other bugs or insects, most of the time it doesn't stick like it does with with our skin but I thought this is a good opportunity since I got stung here a couple times to show you now this bee is trying to spin free and if it does successfully the stinger will pull out and and she will survive but if not you will see that when, when she pulls away it'll pull her insides out and she won't have a chance at all so i want to show this thought this is very important for people to see uh, i can do this very well it doesn't bother me i can i can get into some bees like this and get stung and be calm enough to show you now now she's not going to make it you can see she pulled away and she left her uh, her stinger inserted so she will not make it she will die uh, thought this was a good opportunity to show you I got hit actually a couple times here's a couple more stingers right here you can see that these bees also didn't survive now it doesn't happen very often but every now and then a bee will sting you and they will spin in circles round and round and round and they will finally break free from that stinger or the stinger will pull out and it and it and it won't kill them but most of the time, it's, it's this is what happens right here. Um, I had to get into this hive here as an emergency situation. I had to check. I normally don't like to, and they wasn't very happy at all. I didn't have a smoker lit up, which is always a good idea. And and I got they got me a few times, but this is not the right time of year to get into a hive. Uh, they got a lot to protect at this time of year because if they lose their queen and they lose their honey supplies they're done so these bees wasn't happy at all and timing is always very important when it comes to your bees and when you get in them uh, even the calmest and the most mildest bees on certain days will absolutely tear you up so uh, it's good to have a good gentle stock of bees which we have but there's even days that these good gentle bees is not the right time to be messing with them and they will get you now this is a pretty small colony i mean there's about what three three frames of bees right there and uh and they hit me probably about six times probably i got about took about six things and i won't go pull the frames out but i would just pull pulling the, the feeder off the check and when i did they they uh they dive on me pretty heavy well, not real bad, about six times. and uh, But I thought this is a good opportunity to show people, especially a new beekeeper, if somebody hasn't seen this. And what? Uh, and I was hoping one of these would spin free where you could see it, but it didn't happen. All of them pulled out. Um, so you, I'll show you one more time. There's a, there's a stinger there, there, and got one right there on my arm there, one right there. And there's a couple on my legs I can't spin around and show you because I'm not flexible enough. But anyway, now let's talk about what can trigger a bee to sting you. There's a lot of things. Uh, when I go through my bees, the best, absolutely best scenario ever to go, to, go through your bees is in a nectar flow. Uh, in the middle of the day when it's nice and hot and clear and no rain 
is the best time. You can go through colonies, especially if they're a, a gentle stock of bees. You can go through colonies, and I don't care if they're a five frame, 10 frame, double deep, triple deep, that doesn't matter. You gotta know what you're doing in order to go through those hives like that without taking these stings. I got the video to prove on our big hives going through them and shaking bees off the frames, and I had a veil. I didn't have a veil or anything on just shorts, tank top, and sandals, and that was it. Uh, experience plays a lot in that, but also so does the gentle stock of bees, and there'll be people on here that say, oh, you won't do that with big colonies. Well, I beg to differ because I do it all the time, and, uh, and that's why I made that video, especially to show them that we do do that. Some of those were uh, triple deep separate that we went through, but you gotta have a little bit of uh, common sense to know when you can go through them. And that's something that, that will just take experience. And uh, and I should back off on that, I shouldn't say common sense, cause this, that is a learning process of when to do that. So when you know to go through your bees, when's the worst case scenario? A day like today or a dark at nighttime? Uh, today's an overcast, it was actually sprinkle and rain. It's about 50 some degrees, so it's not it's not real cold, but it's not uh, conditions that they want to be out much. They're barely uh, breaking cluster actually, but they are a little bit, they are flighty a little bit today, but not much. So I thought this was a very important video to show everybody. And, uh, if you would share this with everyone that you know to give people an idea, it's very important. If you're going to become a beekeeper, you need to know when's the best time to get in your hives and, when's the, and when not to. And also to answer that question to most people about what happens to a bee when it stings you. Well, I demonstrated and showed right there. And I thought this was a good time to do it since I opened the hive and, and took a few stings. I pulled my phone out. I thought, well, we'll, we'll show everybody what it's uh what happens to the bee and unfortunately they do die so that's about it uh, don't forget folks please uh share our videos if you would take the video share them on facebook on youtube uh text them to each other however you want to let's get these out to the new beekeepers we need new beekeepers we need a bunch of beekeepers for 2020 to get started and these videos will help you out and help out the new beekeeper and don't forget, folks, uh, click on the little bell, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See? See how mad they are? Barnyard bees.